what keeps you motivated, uh, passionate um, about the music after all the success you've had? You have an album coming yeah, out, right? Yeah, I got an right? album coming out. out. So, wait, and when was your last one? Yeah. It was a thousand years ago, and it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, it, wasn't yeah it was a thousand years ago, and it, you know, I made it in a vacuum, and it really wasn't that impactful. You know, you know, I like the challenge. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that hip hop hasn't really had a Santana moment. I, I, I don't. I think that we're so used to things coming and going that we're not even. We don't even understand the idea of an artist being out for 30, 40 years and making great shit. Like we don't even think in well, those terms. The art terms. form's not old enough to. Figure That's that. what I'm saying. Yeah. So we're not used to it, right? So yeah, we don't have a Rolling Stones yet. Yet, right? So, mm -hmm. so the you know, and and we're at this place where it's like. I believe personally that, you know, you can make an artic artistic contribution throughout your career. You just got to be able to step up and actually do it. Because a lot of people, they talk about it, but then they can't get it done. Can't deliver so, you know, it. Yeah. that's why I'm making it, because I just love the challenge. I love the idea Have you been that, thinking about making it for a long time? Or did yeah, it just I've like last been, year, you're like, I'm going to do it? No, I was thinking about it, thinking about it. And then, you know, actually, the, the way I came out with my album, I'll give you the real story. The story is I had got with Dre. Right, me and Dre was working in the studio and we did like 30, 40 songs and, you know, but it just wasn't all the way right. His beats were pristine, they were amazing, but I didn't feel like my writing was really up to par. Hmm. So I took a step back and then I had a, I had a dream, um, Fife Dog from, from a Tribe Called Quest, yeah. the great legendary group, right, amazing Pete. group, Tribe Called Quest. This the kid, Fife Dog, he passed away. Um, may he rest in peace. He came to me in a dream. He's like, yo, that, that, that music you're making with Dre is going to be is going to be dope. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, it's going to. But he had this funny look on his face. And I remember like not understanding the look. So when I woke up, I called Q-Tip, you know what I'm saying? Q-Tip and I called Q-Tip. I'm like, yo, Tip, he like, what's up? I'm like, I said, yo, let's, you know, let's work. I want to make an album. He said, well, what kind of album you want to make? I said, I don't know, I want some hot sauce, barbecue sauce, pickle juice, <laughs> fucking, you know, I wanted as niggified as it possibly could be. Like, I, I just want the blackest, red, black, and green Marcus Garvey and shit you could ever fucking come up with. With Nigerian DNA baked in it, I want that shit all the way black, right? And he's like, I say less, let's do it. So I went, you know, I went to his crib, and you know, we ended up working on the album. So now it's complete. And it's, so you he know, produced the whole album. Yeah, Q-Tip did my whole album. What? Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, and it's it's fun because it's a challenge, right? Because it could go one or two ways. It could either be amazing or it could be three days of fire emojis yeah. from ten people. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> these dudes be on there. Yo, the album is out. You get three days of fire emojis. That shit's a wrap. That shit's a rizzle. Oh that shit's out of here. <laughs> that shit is over. <laughs>